So if you want to create HTML email templates in Leading Agent, the first thing you have to do is create an HTML letterhead. Uh, so what we're going to do, it's a two-step process. You want to uh, load your images in the Documents tab, and then you're going to want to create the actual letterhead. Uh, now, loading the images, the Documents tab is one of those Salesforce functionalities that actually only is in Classic mode and not currently in Lightning mode. So what you'll want to do to start with is you're going to click on your uh, icon with your little picture here, and we're going to choose Switch to Classic. And then right here you'll see Documents. So all we'll do is just go ahead and click on Documents and you'll see there's some folders here let's make a new folder for our letterhead and so we'll just say create new folder html letterhead is what we'll call it and you want it to be read write uh, that way you have access to use it in you know other things and um, i would assume even if you're on a team you'll make it accessible to all users you can change it Obviously, if you're just a single agent, just leave it the default. Um, if you're a brokerage with lots of users, you know, depending upon your sharing profiles, you can set it however you need it. Um, and if you're not sure, if you are in that, that category where you have different profiles for different groups and you're not sure, just let our support team know and uh, they'll assist you with it. So now that we have the, the folder, it's, it's time to just upload our documents. Um, so you'll click upload and let's just call this uh, header and you want to be sure to check is it, this externally available image what that means is it means it's something that you can send out of the CRM out to the public at large um, you want to choose what folder by default it's going to go to the new folder we just created but you just for good measure want to eyeball that and then you just navigate to wherever your graphic file is now, the HTML letterhead, uh, when you design your letterhead, it can be any height, but the width that you want to design it is 450 pixels. That's the width of the HTML email templates that are in this system. So as long as you do it at 450, everything will be perfectly square and center on everything that you design. And, and again, if you need assistance with that, if you don't have like go Photoshop or InDesign or Publisher or something that will, will let you pick those dimensions, send an email to our support team and we can assist you. So we've got that first one uploaded. Now we just want to upload the footer. So we'll just click this quick link to go back to documents. And we're going to click new for another document. And we're going to call this letterhead footer. Again, we're going to check it to be externally available. Now, the folder you'll see this time is a different one, so we're going to go back to HTML letterhead. That's where we're going to store it. We'll navigate to the footer and click Save. All right, so now we've got our header and footer, and so what we can do is we're going to want to go up to the top here, click on our name, and then click Switch to Lightning Experience. The next step, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the setup menu and actually create a new uh, a new HTML email letterhead. So what you'll do is you'll click on the gear, and then we'll choose setup. And when it goes to the setup menu. We'll click over here on email and scroll down until you get to the letterheads. And so you'll click on letterheads. This first time you log in, it's going to show you this, like here's how you set up your letterhead and what you can do with it. If you don't want to ever see that again, all you have to do is just click this don't show this page again button. Otherwise, you'll just always have to click next. By default, our system, we have a blank uh, default letterhead that we use to uh, push in some already formatted HTML email templates for you. Um, so my recommendation, 
do not alter or delete this because that'll actually impact your the different holiday emails we have, um, the 33 touch to 8x8. You could go in and change the letterhead that they're assigned to, but don't, don't do anything with this default one. What you're going to want to do instead is create a new one. So you just click New Letterhead. We'll check that it's available for use, and we'll just call this, uh, I don't know, Sample Letterhead. Click Save. And now it's time to build. So you'll see here it's got a background color. If you don't want a background color, all you have to do is just click Edit, and you can choose, let's say, white. And so we choose white, and now there's no more. And then if we want to put the header in, we just click on Select Logo. And we're going to choose our folder, HTML Letterhead, and choose the header. And then we'll go down here, likewise. And for the footer, we're going to select logo. And we're going to choose footer. And so now, you see that there's these lines here. Some people like them as a visual separator. I personally don't, and I like to get rid of them. So all you have to do is you just click the edit button for the particular line. And you don't have to change the color. All you have to do is just say you want to make it zero pixels high. And there you go. Now it's gone. And you could do the same thing down here. And there you go. It's gone. So now you've got your header. Here's the where the body of your email will always go. And you've got your footer. And so all you have to do, if you want to preview it, you can just click preview. It's going to open in a new tab. And oops. There's the bottom line too. So if we want to get rid of that, no big deal. All we do is we go here to edit bottom line. And just choose zero. And it's as easy as that. So you could preview it again. I, I mean, we already saw it, so we know it's going to work in this case. So we'll just click save. And now you'll see there's a letterhead. So you can have multiple letterheads if you want. It doesn't always have to be one. Um, so like now we have two here. We've got the, the default one that our system comes preloaded with and then the new one we just built. So you can make for different initiatives or whatever you're working on, you could have different letterheads or maybe different team members. Totally, totally possible. Uh, but that's how you make your letterhead.